everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Neek was so nice. If this is your first time tuning in, thanks for stopping by and welcome. As promised, this is the video of the project that I was discussing with you guys in a few videos ago. If you don't remember, it's the one that I was showing everything that I got from the Dollar Tree with the gold wrap and all the beautiful flowers and my snowflakes oops excuse me so if you get a chance you can go ahead and check it out i believe it is quick crafts part two if i'm not mistaken so forgive me if i am you can just check all of them out again thank you for taking the time to view my content i hope everyone had a wonderful day it is a little later in the evening around 6 17 p.m. Saturday so I did want to still get this video out and share my idea with you so stay tuned the next clip you will see is the feature wall in my living room that I'm looking to redecorate so hold on okay y'all I am back I'm hoping that you can see it this is my feature wall in my living room it's three i think they call these um palm uh leaves forgive me if i don't have them correct i'm gonna say forgive me a lot because i like things sometimes i know exactly what they are <laughs> sometimes i don't know but this is my feature wall about let me see the pictures the candle holder we're thrifted the little shelf right here the white shelf that has i love you mom on it i believe i got that from dollar general or walmart and the i love you mom i did get that from burlington the two pretty gold wall sconces oh let me see if i can adjust it boom there they are that was gifted to me by a friend when i moved in and i just did you know the flower arrangement on the inside what else? Um, yeah, these plants, I got them from Walmart. These candles, actually, I got from Hobby Lobby last year or year before last. And this beautiful octagon candle set up here, I thrifted that. I want to say it actually was from Pottery Barn. I'm not sure. It, it was from somewhere really, really nice. It was... I had my spare key under there. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it, y'all. Hold on. Well, the brand is called Ninth Floor. So I think it was a Pottery Barn. Yeah, I want to say it was from Pottery Barn. Sometimes I got to be very specific. Excuse me. <laughs> but it is a very pretty mint color. Again, like I said, in my living room. If anyone would like to see it in the future, you know, I can do a little small living room tour so you can see the whole thing but this is my feature wall as you go down this is a cute table that i picked up from ross last year it was like 30 dollars. that's a picture of my cousin and my mom and this vase that i got right here thrifted it goodwill um it's like the distressed i guess the distressed pillar look and it had a few little um, blemishes on it. So I just put some paint on it just to make it look the way that it would look without a bunch of cracks and stuff. So, And the potpourri and stuff inside there. I got that from Walmart. This cute little gnome dog. Say hi. My friend made her also for my mom's birthday. But yep. So the plan is, y'all, with the feature wall. These three pictures that are up here. Thrifted that from Goodwill, thrifted the candles, the shelf, uh, that was given to me, and I just spray painted it this pretty blue color. And I'm going to pan around real quick. It matches my chairs that I did, so excuse the little mess on the couch. It's just a pillow and some towels, but yeah, but I was given that, and I just spray painted over it. But the idea with the feature wall, y'all, I'm going to take these pictures. They're like a canvas print. I already measured the gold um, gift wrap out, and I'm going to wrap them. So hold on real quick. I'm going to shoot back in the other room so I can talk to you.
Alrighty, so I am back guys. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully the lighting and everything is still good. Let me fix my camera real quick. Well, my lighting really quick. Alright. So, like I mentioned, the three canvas pictures that's on my feature wall, I already pre-measured them with the gift wrap, this pretty gold gift wrap. And I thought to myself, okay, I wanted to do something different on the wall for Christmas because last year I just left it as is. But I'm like, okay, I want to do something different. I know I don't have a whole bunch of space. Plus, I want to design on a dime, you know, um, not blow money, you know, to buy anything brand new. So what could I do? What could I do? Don't know if it was done before, but again, great minds think alike if it was. I just was like, okay, let me get some gift wrap. Like I spoke to you last time. I don't know if I told you guys, but let me find some pretty gold gift wrap to go with the gold accents on my feature wall. I'm going to wrap the picture with the gift wrap and use this pretty blue bling around the borders, almost like a picture frame. And I'm going to adhere the snowflakes on them in some kind of cute design, you know, so to make it just look nice and, you know, purpose for the winter time. So I already pre-measured out my gift wrap. It just rolls up, you know, of course, to hold its shape. But this is the pre-measured gift wrap. And I got my snowflakes and everything. As far as the floral arrangement, that I may do second because I realized with the shape of the vase that those plants are in, I wouldn't really need the floral foam. Plus, I don't want to go in that closet. But I believe because of how it's shaped, I can just kind of manipulate the wires or, or, or you know, on the stem to sit the way that I want it to, hopefully. It will work out that way. Worst case scenario, I just got to get the floral foam. So thank you for tuning in. The next thing that you will see is me pulling down one of my canvas pieces to wrap it with the gift wrap. I do hope that it is thick enough where I would not have to, you know, put a piece of construction paper behind it to camouflage the actual print. But if so, hey, no big deal. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I am back. Just getting my camera and everything adjusted again because I am a team of one. I need to see why my light is looking kind of dim. Y'all, my chair is squeaky squeaky. It's just an old school chair that I did reupholster. Hold up, y'all, let me check my light. All right, I'm back, everybody. Phew. When I tell y'all I'm making it do what it do <laughs> when it comes down to recording. So thank you for sticking with me again. If my chair is going eat or eat. <laughs> this is an old school chair that I again thrifted, reupholstered, painted over. But I, I got it just so I can work in my office space. I am going to invest in an office chair. Um, sometimes... You can lean back in them a little too far and then end up on the carpet. I don't want that to happen because I'll, I'd be the one to do that. But even anyway, so y'all, I'm back. Um, I have my wrap right here. And I did cut on my glue gun because that is going to be a part of the project. So I decided to just go ahead and start on the pictures first versus the floral thing. Because this seems like it might take a little longer not extremely long, but, you know, just a little time to make sure that I'm putting it the way that I want to hear it. I mean, putting it the way I want it to be. Excuse me, belching. Okay, if you do hear any noise in the background, if I haven't mentioned it before, that's my fan. Inside this little room gets kind of warm, and I do have the air on because, you know, the house is too hot. Outside started to warm up. Some people like the air in the winter, but, yeah, I'm that girl. But again, here is the blue bling. It is very pretty. I don't think the camera may do it as much justice. But I got four packs of that. It's called the Adhesive Diamond Wrap. And I got that right from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do right now, stick this over here. And if you wonder, this is workstation. But it's also when I'm crafting like a catch-all station. So, 
Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Right. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on the canvas cover up, but I may. Y'all, I did find my big girl scissors because I know earlier I was just using a little kitty scissors, but it still was working. Again, I hope everyone is having a great evening, had a great Saturday. If you caught some sales, thumbs up. I was telling my mom, I was like, shoot, no shade in it, but I don't never get to catch them, I guess, because shoot, money goes on other things, bills and stuff like that. Plus, I bargain shop through the year, but if anyone else was fortunate to find some cool deals, hey, good for you. All right, y'all, so I'm just taking my iridescent ornaments. You know what? I don't think I was supposed to cut the string, but it's all right. Next year, if I use them, it's nothing to just find some little twine, you know, no biggie. This is for this project this year. All right. So... What I'm going to do is I cut it and just take one sheet and I believe it should come out nice. I'm hoping that it will because this is my first time trying this for anyone that's, you know, just catching the video and if they skip past some parts, what I'm doing is I'm taking this canvas art that I had on my feature wall. And I'm just going to wrap the front of it with some of this pretty gold gift wrap. Put some of this bling around the edges. And put some of these. I have three. No, four. No, I have three of these. A big one, two medium ones, or small ones if you want to consider the small. And then I have two of the frosted type. So, and I also have these foam snowflakes that I might put on there but the plan is just to recreate another piece of art to put back on the wall and decorate my feature wall for Christmas so if you can hold on I'm going to go ahead and start taping one up and I'll be right back okay real quick y'all I did want to come back and show you wanted to show you what I did so Again, like the previous project I did earlier with the boxes on top of my fridge, I cut it on the grid. If you can see the grid line, and I'm just going to overlap it. So far, hey, it looks like it's going to cover it really well. So I'm just overlapping it, and I'm going to tape it in place and go ahead with my design on the front. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, you guys. And what I ended up doing, I'm just checking my um, camera. What did I? What I ended up doing was I did try to use the tape and tape it to the back, but because of you know the type of material, it wasn't going to stick. Maybe if I had painter's tape or something stronger, it probably would have stuck. But what I did is I just whipped out my my trusty staple gun and just stapled it in place around the back when I'm done with it you know all I have to do is just peel it off and everything will be fine now what I will say is of course when I hold it up to the light you can kind of see behind it see a little bit of you know the picture but I don't think it would be noticeable of course when I put it up to the wall so I'm just going to stick with that but this is one of them pretty gold canvas now what I'm going to do is I want to take some of these and put it around the edge I'm trying to figure out how I would like to do it but I'm gonna step off camera get that together and then I'll be right back okay y'all so I am back so what I ended up doing I'm gonna point the camera down All right, so I ended up kind of doing this like a puzzle. So the strips that was originally in the whole piece, like the one I'm going to show you, 
I just ended up doing it like a puzzle. Perhaps you might have a more simplified way to do it. Probably just cutting them all across in strips. But being that this is my first time, excuse me, completing this project. Had some stuff fall on the floor, y'all. Oh. This is my first time doing this project. So I wanted to just, you know, be as straight up as possible with it in showing, you know, how it's going to come out, you know, didn't have any, uh, really, I don't know how to put it, you know, like pre-planned for it for a lack of better words. So this is what I have so far. Um, what I'm going to do is peel the backing off. What I did is I cut them in strips of six. So the whole sheet, I took it and just cut them in strips of six, you know, across because, you know, they're little strips. So I just cut it off one, two, three, four, five, six, cut, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, cut, and just kept going. I was wondering if I wanted to do it in a different design, probably just make it look like some pieces are missing on purpose, you know, but I was like, uh, I don't know how that would turn out. I want to just probably do it as a full border, but never know. I might still, you know, see how I might like it because it is, you know, a little art project. So it depends on what I feel like and how I might decide, you know, which way I want it to go. So just depends so the second design that I was thinking about you know is probably something like this I'm going to show you in a few seconds y'all so just purposely kind of stagger them like this instead of having it go all the way around you know so it just depends on what I end up with. Whatever it is, I think it's still going to look cute. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So I am back. And I am very happy with what I came up with. Now, back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember the um, cityscape portraits they used to have. They still probably got them out there. But back in the day, it would be like this um, black lacquer cityscape where it had the gold cityscape and then the back part would be black lacquer. So I thought about that as I was laying down these little bling pieces. And I'm like, well, let me just see if I can create my own. And I think it's super cute. And I just put the big snowflake up there. I may put a few other little pieces in the corner just to coincide. But I absolutely love it when I just kind of let things go, you know, on its own. Hopefully the camera is doing it some justice. But yeah, that's my cityscape, Christmas cityscape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a few more little icicle pieces in the corner. And I just think this is, is super cute. So I'll be back in a few, y'all. I'm proud of how it's turning out. Okay, guys, I am back. This is my project. This is one of them. Hope you can see how everything looks. I'm trying to look in the camera while making sure that you can see how everything looks. And I think it's super cute. I am going to tell on myself, though, I think because I was getting so lost in it, I put it in there, put it on upside down. So the hook part is down here. But it's going back up on that wall. So trust and believe it's going. But this is my picture. Um, I'm just going to wing the other ones. I think it is so pretty. How it shimmers and the light and everything. I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. Just winged it, you know. So I'm going to go and stick it up on the wall and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So what I did is I got my MacGyver on. So since, like I said, 
the prong part for the picture to be hung is at the bottom. What I did is you see this little white piece right here? That's a paper clip. I just folded it in a triangle, taped it together, and stapled it to the under part of the frame. And I'm hanging it back on the wall because I was thinking about a command strip, but I didn't want to tear the um, paper nor did I want to peel anything off the wall. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm coming right back. But this is my pretty craft. I'll be right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit more hot glue on this part. Just so it doesn't fall off. I am so proud of this. This is such a pretty, pretty craft. You know, I've never done anything quite like this before so I think it turned out beautifully in my opinion but yep I'm gonna go stick this right on the wall and I'll be right back y'all hey guys I am back so what I had to do I had to trim another piece of paper to put on the next picture and I made sure this time that I got it right right side up. So as you can see, the little prong in the back so it can hook onto the wall. I made sure I got it the right way this time. Um, for this one, like I said, I do have the smaller snowflakes. So what I may do is just center it. Just put it in the center because I don't want my feature wall to be too fussy. So I got some hot glue splat it on the center I just I like creating things you know I think it just it takes your mind off of a lot and you know you get to express yourself so this is one of them I don't know if I might leave it plain like that or if I might just put a few you know of the strips like I have on the other one it just depends this is going to be too big to even fit on here. Um, I was wondering, because I don't want to make it too fussy. I want it to be beautiful and still, you know, kind of simple at the same time. But this is the one I just hot glued on here to go with my wall. But what I'm going to do, just play around with it a bit. Oh, and what I wanted to say also, y'all. When you put your little diamond wrap down, if you do decide to do this project, what the project is, quick recap, it's my canvas print that I had that I was like, didn't want to buy anything else, so I took it and wrapped it in some beautiful gold wrap. You can use whatever wrap, of course, of your choice. And I stapled it to the back because the tape wasn't really working that well, so I just stapled it to the back. But I will say if you decide to use some of this diamond wrap and you stick it down on here, it is kind of forgiving on your gift wrap, but you just got to kind of peel it up slow because I did place some down in a few areas. If you see me messing with my earring, it is a little heavy, but I like them. Um, I did place them down on a few areas, but they were a little crooked, so I had to peel it up gently and then place it down again. So if you do that, just move slow in peeling them up. But I think this is super cute. I'm almost tempted to just put it up there just like that. But I will see how, you know, a few of these strips might look. I'll just keep it simple and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back again. So I'm going to leave my picture like this because I think it's still very pretty and simple not too fussy not taken away too much from the other designs i just left it as is um i don't want to go overboard with it and i know like the saying goes no two snowflakes are alike so when i did the first one i was kind of like counting each strip just to make sure it was even but i'm gonna leave it just as is i think it's super cute um, I thought about putting a little bit more, but I just think it's nice how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the wall. Hey, I'm back, y'all. You know what? I totally forgot 
because I guess I was so pleased about how it's turning out about these that I had these so um of course they're not going to fit on here but I am going to use them for something else I don't know what but it's going to turn out pretty whatever I use it for but I'm almost finished with my last one my last picture I already went and put the snowflake up on it so I'm going to just put a few of these little bling pieces on it and stick it on the wall and next I will be going on with my flower arrangement and my feature wall will be done so after that I think the next clip you may see is either me assembling my floral arrangement and after that should be the finished product so stay tuned All right, y'all, I am back, and here is my feature wall. Hopefully, let me adjust the camera. You can see it. So that's my cityscape, my little ice drippings. I didn't want to make it too fussy. I wanted to still be beautiful but simple for the holiday. That's my floral arrangement. I don't know if I may add something to it. I think I may leave it as is. You know, don't want to make it too fussy. I have some um, little gold eucalyptus pieces. I believe it's eucalyptus. I'm not sure. It's a little twig looking thing that I may add to it. But these are the two sconces. I just added this little bit of holly to it. I may bring it down some, but here is my feature wall it is done i hope you enjoyed the video guys it was fun to make all it is is just my canvas prints that i had i wrapped them with some beautiful gold um, gift wrap added some bling to it the centerpiece is just a snowflake ornament I cut the string off it, of course, and just hot glued it to the picture. Um, yeah, I think I accidentally put on <laughs> the flash fill light, but that's okay. But yeah, it was just a fun project, and I think it turned out very pretty. So there it is, everybody, my feature wall. If you did hang in there, you know, for the duration of the video, thank you. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And there it is, everybody. So God bless. You have a great night. And I'll see you again soon.